This is kind of a follow-up to the cabinet build that I did. Uh, if you watched that video, basically I said I was going to put an under cabinet light on there. So this is kind of a review and an installation and a follow-up video. So I was looking for an under cabinet light that had plenty of lighting. You've got to look at the lumens on these lights to find out how many lumens they have. That's what identifies how bright they are. If you look at a lot of the kitchen under cab lights, are like 400 lumens, 500 lumens. Uh, this is actually 1,000 lumens. It says per light, so I'm hoping I've got 2,000 lumens here. So that should really light this area up. It also has USB ports in it and power uh, plugs so that I can char put my uh, drill chargers and stuff on it. So what I plan on doing is mounting the under cab under here, then putting my chargers on the back wall underneath the cabinet. So I just wanted to plug it in first just to make sure it has enough light for what I want to do. Um, before I go mounting it in case I need to return it. I want to make sure I'm not too close to the countertop, but I think that'll be pretty good. So I've got that compared to sorry, new that. So I think I'm gonna go ahead and mount it up. Now when I built the cabinet, I left this little lip under here planning on doing a low profile under cabinet mount. So I probably should have gone two inches, but either way, it'll still fit up under there. You can't really see it. Um, this is three quarter inch. Uh, it's a press board. So it's the, uh, I'm trying to think of what it's called, like the cabinet, the pre-made cabinet board you can get at Lowe's. So it's still a glue fitted board, but it should be solid enough to hold this light up underneath there. But once I start putting all these plugs in here, it may be, um, too much to try to be brutal with it because I'm just going to be reaching up under there pulling things in and out um, So what I'll probably end up doing is I'll probably run a couple of screws up into here Once I get it mounted then I'll drill up through and I'll drop some bolts down from the inside and actually bolt and nut this That way it holds up there solid so I'm using a 9 16 inch screw If you look on here, this will go about three quarters of the way into my board Again, I'm going to mount it up here, see how it holds. If it feels sturdy, I'll leave it. If it doesn't feel sturdy, I'll just pull these back out, and then I will uh, drill a hole all the way through, drop a smooth bolt down through the top so it doesn't stick up in my cabinet, and then nut it from the bottom. So I do not like how that mounted. They didn't feel like they gripped in there very good at all. So again, I'm going to go back through it, and I'm going to bolt them in. As far as light goes, looks pretty good. I'm just going to run this up here. Draw a hole in the outside edge of my cabinet here and then run over to my plug. I've got more things I want to hang up here, so it's going to be a little difficult to get my head up in there, but I'll show you what I'm going to do. I'm basically just going to take a bolt, drop the bolt down through the hole, and then put the washer nut on to keep it in place. I'm making sure I'm using a drill bit that is the same size as my bolt. That way the head of my screw doesn't go down through the top of my cabinet. And again, I've already made my screw holes underneath there, so I know exactly where to drill. I'm going to drill straight up through, drop the bolts in, tighten it up. And just in case you're doing this by yourself like I am, I just basically took this clamp. I'm using the clamp to hold the light up in there. I don't have it tight. I've just got it holding it in place for me. So my screw's flush down here. And again, under here, I just did a wing nut so I didn't have to worry about holding the nut at the same time because that caught the back of the plastic. So I held it in place, tightened it up, and I get my clamp out of the way. The last thing I need to do is make a place for my cord to come out. So I'm going to go in this back corner. Again, I'm going to hang another shelf here. So when I hang the other shelf here, I'll um, make sure I put a slot in it so the wire comes down and over. I may eventually move the receptacle on the wall over that way, but for now, I'm just going to drill a hole out. And again, this is going to be covered in the back, so it's not going to matter to me anyhow. I took the width of my plug, by the way, and got just a big enough bit to fit through there. I've got no plate in the back. I can tell where my my screw is, my, my bottom shelf is from this screw right here. So I'm basically going to go all the way at the bottom of this as far as I can. And again, my next cabinet over here will cover this up. I'll make the same size hole in the bottom of the other one. This is just glued together board, so I had a little chip out here, but again, in my case, it doesn't matter. Um, it is what it is. If I wanted to, I could put a little piece of wood in there, fill it back in. 
I could take wood putty and actually just putty this hole shut. Uh, but again, workshop. All right, so there's the final result besides mounting my chargers underneath of it. Um, basically, the light is pretty awesome for what it is. I hit the right switch. Uh, that lights up the work area really well, so with the overhead lights on also, that's going to help out my work area pretty good. And the other thing that I didn't show you when I had this down, these lights actually fold out. So you can adjust these out a little bit for your workstation, or you could force them out into the room if you want to, but you can kind of set them to where you need them on your workbench, so I can put mine there. And there is probably about right for my workstation. And then fold them up when I'm done using them. So it's almost completely dark in here now. Uh, a little bit of light left, but not much. So it puts off plenty of light, even to light up the room. So the little 2000 watts, actually, uh, or 2000 lumens, puts off a good bit of light. And if I turn this off, as you can see, I've got my drill chargers mounted underneath. Again, the lip, I was planning on doing a low profile light under here, not this strip. So if I did it again, I would have put a bigger uh, cover on there. As you can see, I just zip tied the wires up in there nice. And um, now the charger's the wall. I got two pl or one plug left, two USB ports. And again, the lights are in there, they're adjustable. And what I'll eventually do is put a cabinet here to the left. And I'll probably just move that receptacle up inside the cabinet and then plug it in where you won't even see the plug on the wall. Anyhow, thanks for watching. Please click like, subscribe. And if you would, take a minute just to leave a comment. Let me know whether you like it, don't like it. Um, either way, that'll help my video out by uh, leaving a brief comment. Thank you very much for watching.